Oh my God, hello! I'll just put Victoria Beckham over here. <laughs> I'm not skinny, but I don't care. I love me just the way I am. Because I've just had a baby. About 12 and a half years ago, but fuck it. <laughs> Gets me a seat on the bus. People think I'm pregnant. I just make the most of it. I'm just like this. <sighs> Arch the back. Do a bit of this. Oh, fucking tired. <laughs> Get off the bus, light up a fag. <laughs> Don't worry, it keeps the pretend baby small. <laughs> I'm also perimenopausal. <laughs> yes, doesn't mean I like hanging around Nando's. It means I'm, I'm nearly menopausal. <laughs> And I'm getting cranky. Anyone else like that? I'm getting fucking cranky. But I figured out a way I can get away with it. So I'm shopping, you know. People don't want to put their clothes on me when you're this age. They get a bit, so at, at purchase level, I just, you know, they take my money, I take the bag and I just say, thanks, slut. <laughs> they don't know. It sounds like thanks a lot. Thanks, slut. <laughs> Thank you. But I learned a lot about at menopause from watching uh, Menopause the Musical. And I'm thinking, well, why don't we have something for the younger generation coming into womanhood? Menstruation the Musical. <laughs> a period drama. <laughs> a rags to riches story. <laughs> it's a bloody good show. <laughs> the acoustic version. Menstruation the Musical unplugged. <laughs> With songs like... I'm bleeding on a jet plane. What's this blood that comes and goes, Mum, can you tell me what it means? God help me, I was only 13. <laughs> Napogesics and tampons and pads with their wings. These are a few of my favourite things. Get them in ya, stick them up ya, chuck them in your pants. When I finally reach menopause, then things won't be. I'm glad you like that. I just did a little bit of weed. <laughs> I'm incontinent, but that's okay. Didn't do my pelvic floor exercises like you're supposed to when you're pregnant. I'll do them now, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's all do them, girls. Come on. Actually, guys, you can join in too. Just, to, just pretend you've got a foof and you've got to hold something up your foof. You ready? One, two, three, and clench. And release. You just grew a cervix. <laughs> the other thing we're coming close to menopause, you start to lose your libido. I want to get a dog called libido and just go, <laughs> <laughs> where the hell's my libido gone? <laughs> Come here. And I mean, I love my husband. He's a spunk, six foot four, gorgeous. I just don't feel like rooting him. <laughs> I used to, but now I'm just like, oh, do I have to? <laughs> Especially Melbourne winter. I just want to be under my dunas, with my flanny PJs on, with the heater blaring, with my iPad, watching episode after episode of The Walking Dead. I would rather watch zombies being impaled with different implements than being impaled by my husband. <laughs> Sounds a bit the same, though. But yes, incontinence is... <laughs> I, I do wee, I'm so bad, and I can't go any for, for a length of time. Like, I can't go for a bushwalk like I used to, you know? I can't, you know, I have to know where my toilets are. I have to know if I can squat or not, you know? And I, I, I'm scared of snakes and spiders, so I, when I'm bushwalking, there's no way I'm going to squat. I'd rather wet myself. <laughs> and we were, at, we were at a beautiful sunny day, and we were at the Grampians. I'll sum it up for you. <laughs> we at the Grampians, my friend. My friend forgot to pack some depends. <laughs> we at the grapevines, peed at the grapevines. I have no excuses. 
uses. My socks have new uses. I'm the high moisture champion of the world.